And welcome back. Hikamarazi trying to take this fourth set into the tiebreak, and he does so. The Moroccan, ranked 55 in the world, bidding to be the first Moroccan ever to reach a Grand Slam quarterfinal. And Marcelo Rios bidding to come back from two sets to love down for the second time in the tournament. Two sets to love down in the second round against Byron Black. Two sets to one down against Wayne Black in the first round. Fourth set tiebreak. Arazi by two sets to one. And an immediate mini break. I'm David Mercer. Bob Hewitt's alongside me. Bob, this has been a, a fascinating match full of great stroke play. A, a lot of errors, but they're really going for the shots. Well, that's the way uh, both players play. Arazi perhaps with a little bit more power. And I don't know, David, where all these great young tennis players are coming from. Morocco? I hardly have anybody coming from there. Well, of course, they've got three of them. Uh, Yunus Alanawi sadly slipping down the rankings injury problems, but Karim Ala Alami. And, of course, Hikam Arazi. The man who won in Casablanca to win his first tour title this year. Lost in the semi-finals in Qatar to Tim Henman in three sets. Leading now by two sets to one and three points to love in this tiebreak. And of course if he wins, it will set a new Grand Slam record for any Grand Slam of only two seeds reaching the quarterfinals. And there'll be Evgeny Kovalnikov and Sergei Bruguera. It's wide. And surely now, Arazi in sight of a famous victory. Four one. I first heard of him, David, just a few weeks ago in Hamburg when uh, when he did well, and I'm greatly impressed by this young man. But I always have the feeling when I watch uh, Rios that he can always win no matter what the situation. But he'd be lucky to win this one. Five one in the fourth set tiebreak and leading by two sets to one. Just think of the names through Magnus Norman, Philip de Wolf, Gustavo Quetin, Galo Blanco, Patrick Rafter. They're all in their first Grand Slam quarterfinals. It's an extraordinary tournament. Confident. He goes for his ground strokes, but that seemed to be a little bit more of a slap as if he expected to hit a winner. One of the mini breaks are back. point really if he can cut the deficit to just one point all the pressure will switch to this young man how quickly a 5-1 lead can become 5-4 in the old nerve ends you're two points away from the Grand Slam quarter-final. Rios, of course, a quarter-finalist at the Australian Open earlier this year. And now that 
gap. Yes. One more. <laughs> One point. That's all I need. One point. Of course, he's lived in France since he was two, so the French, without anybody in the draw... They're going to claim him. I suspect they will. He lives in Mani. Can't blame them, whoever wants to claim him. That's it. It's out, and another seed bites the dust. Oh, what an extraordinary men's tournament we're having. Two seeds in the quarterfinals. Never happened before in a Grand Slam. In the Grand Slams these days, they have last eight clubs. Suddenly, the membership is about quadrupled in, <laughs> in this tournament. <laughs> Players who reach the last eight of the singles, the last four of doubles.